Hi everyone and Happy New Year. It's Emma here. I hope you're all enjoying your extra long Christmas holidays and looking forward to going back to school not too far away as well. Today I want you to think back to Christmas time and all the gifts that you received. Maybe you got a new football strip, a train set, uh, the latest Barbie doll or even a doll's house, a Barbie dream house. A computer game or an iPad or maybe you got a new remote control car, a teddy bear, a new bike or a new scooter. I bet you got lots of sweeties as well didn't you? Chocolates and sweeties. Now I know it was a few weeks ago but can you remember everything that you got for Christmas? Do you think you would be able to write it all down in a big list? Did you get any special gifts that you asked for Santa for? Can you remember if you got them? And what did you get from your grandparents? Well, do you know what? I know a little boy and a little girl named Sophie and Aaron, my little boy and little girl. And do you know what they asked Santa for in their letters? They asked Santa for everything in the Smith's Toy Superstore's catalogue. Well, that got me thinking about how sometimes we can all get a little bit greedy and envious of others, can't we? Even if we had the space in our house for all the toys in the catalogue, that would be very greedy, wouldn't it? And these are not good feelings to have. In fact, the Bible explains that these feelings of greed and envy can be quite dangerous because they lead to us to sin against God, which is bad. As humans, we all do bad things at times which are sinful. But as Christians, we know that God gave his only son, Jesus, on the cross for our sins so that we can have eternal life. We are taught to follow the teachings of God and God recognises that everyone will sin just like Adam and Eve did in the Garden of Eden. But we should turn to God in repentance. This means that we should ask God for forgiveness for our sins. God gave humans free will so it's up to us to decide for ourselves how we behave either in an evil or a good way. When I look back at the presents I got this year for my Christmas I would tell you that our family's most precious gifts didn't come gift wrapped in fancy paper or from the Black Friday sales in the shops. After such a crazy year with coronavirus, our most precious gifts were our health and having our family together in our safe and warm home to enjoy such a special day together. Unfortunately, like many other families, we were unable to celebrate with all those that we love and care for. But knowing that they were all safe and well and that we will see them again soon has been such a blessing from God. There are no amount of toys, money or material goods that could compare to these special gifts and the joy that they bring. I'm going to show you all a little video now where Jesus told the parable of the wealthy man and how to avoid being greedy in our lives. Here's the video. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the wealthy man. This is Jesus, Hey-o! who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. One day, a crowd gathered around Jesus to hear him talk. The crowd was so big that people were stepping on each other. Hey, watch it! Jesus was talking to his disciples when someone called out from the crowd. Hey, Jesus! Teacher, tell my brother to divide with me the property our father left us. Ah, uh, hold on there. Jesus said, friend, who made me a judge over you to decide such things as that? Be careful and guard against all kinds of greed. A man's life is not measured by the many things he owns. Huh? Then he told them a story. A rich man had a fertile farm that produced fine crops. He said to himself, what should I do? I don't have room for all my crops. Hmm. Ah, I got it. Then he said, I know. I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones. Then I'll have room enough to store all my wheat and other goods. And I'll sit back and say to myself, my friend, you have enough stored away for years to come. 
Now take it easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> but God said to him, You fool, you will die this very night. <laughs> Wait, what? Then who will get everything you worked for? Yes, a person is a fool to store up earthly wealth, but not have a rich relationship with God. I hope you all liked the video with the parable about the wealthy man. Now, God knows that money and material items are on our mind a lot. And he knows that greed will destroy us if we become focused on accumulating more wealth. We become focused and driven by greed and are never content. Often greed opens the door to other sins. And we find ourselves falling further and further away from God and what he has in store for our lives. We must be careful to protect our hearts and minds against greed and to practice contentment. Not only to live being satisfied and thankful for what God has given us, but also in being generous in giving to others. So, this month, I would like you all to think about how you can do some kind gestures for other people. You might have some sweeties left over that you can share out with friends or family. Or there might be some housework that you could do to help your family. Have a little think. Could you write thank you letters to send to your family and friends for all the lovely gifts that you've received? Have a think about all those lovely gifts and who they came from. One of the important lessons that Sophie and Aaron have learned this Christmas is how much joy can come from giving gifts and helping other people. So we have been thinking about those that are not as fortunate as us and at Christmas time we decided to donate some toys and some food parcels to local charities to help others. We've also been thinking about our compassion sponsor families in Kenya and we enjoy sending them letters and pictures too. You could maybe help someone who is homeless by asking a grown-up like your parents to buy them a hot drink or maybe a hot meal when it's so cold outside at the moment. See how much love and kindness you can spread this year and have fun doing it. Hope you all have a great week and we'll see you all again soon. Good luck. Bye. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be, I want to be, I want to be I like to think about the goodness of the Lord he gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands and say